Hello and welcome to this brief demonstration of the free open source mind mapping program, FreePlane. Uh, what we're going to do today is just have a very quick look at FreePlane, uh, just to have a look at the main features and see if it's the sort of program we might want to use. When we first start FreePlane, we're presented with this mind map, which actually just tells us little bits about the program itself. So a little bit more detail than I'm going to go into. So I'm just going to show you the, the brief workings of the program. Uh, I've adapted this layout just for me, so I've added a, a text plane here and I've removed some other elements, but the basic mind map features will stand. So I'm just going to create a new map and this is our map area. We can do certain things such as like changing the background color if we wish. If I go to format, we can change map background colors. Let's go for a nice bright yellow. Well, it's actually turned green. Uh, adding information to the map is quite simple. Click on our central idea. We can rename this. whatever we want, press enter, it completes. If we want to add an element to the mind map, we press enter and it adds an element. If we press enter, it completes. If we press enter again, we add a new one. And we can keep repeating this process as long as we want. Now, as well, in, as, well as adding elements to this central idea, we can add extra elements simply by pressing our insert key. We'll add a new level to our mind map. And again, we can keep adding elements to this new level. So on and so forth. As well as adding tags and elements, we can add um, a bit of extra text here. So on new level, I can add a text note. And when I click away, you'll notice a little icon's popped up. Oops, let's expand that. There's our text note. So you can see it's always going to be visible. If I click on a new element without a text note, there isn't one. And again, I just click off. You can see we get our text note again. Uh, we can add other things such as hyperlinks to websites. So if I run and click on an element, I can go to a link. I can add a hyperlink. Okay, I've got to save the map. So if it's a hyperlink to a file, I can do that now. Click on that and you can see we get a hyperlink arrow, which will open up our web page in this case. Sorry, our viewer. It's a uh, previous mind map. And as well, we can hyperlink to different things. So here we go www.bbc.co.uk okay yeah we have to know the link beforehand but other than that it's fine so there we go new link and that should open my default browser and go to the bbc okay took its time but here we go so we can add notes and hyperlinks to files and documents and as well as with other mind maps, we can export that to different formats. Uh, this particular program has a lot of export formats. So if we click the list, you can see we get quite a few things in there. Of real interest are going to be the Microsoft Word and OpenOffice. So we can use these things for producing outlines of, of whatever revision techniques, um, research, essays, and export them into different formats. So open office files, plain text, and as you can see, quite a few different image types and text types. Okay, it's free and open source. Uh, it runs in Java, so it will run on pretty much any platform we've got. So Mac, PC, Linux, it will all look the same and run the same, and it's completely free.